Music here on Isaac 98.1 FM The Promise In studio I've got the man Mr. James Saunders Top of the morning to you bro Yeah man, blessings are Trinidad and Tobago And of course the folks at 98.1 It's the first time I've been here since You know, the brand new spanking building And, and that kind of stuff, you know Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and let me tell you guys He was not late uh, Yeah. Well, thank, <laughs> thank goodness Traffic lights and all You know, traffic lights I don't know Traffic lights don't seem to like me Yeah. When I'm running a little behind the schedule Traffic lights just seem to, you know, mm. want to work efficiently. Now, to those of you who are listening via www.isaac981.com and not familiar with this guy, he is the sports anchor. He's also a gospel artist. Yeah, man. Yeah? Started from the good old days. He's a Maruga boy. You will. I remember the days when James used to carry my crates of records. My yeah? goodness. And, and that is so long ago, I can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> so, James... Tell us, tell us about growing up in Maruga and uh, where you are right now. Well, growing up in Maruga was like any country life, you know, riding box carts, you know. Box carts? Walking barefoot up and down the road. Now explain to the public what's riding a box cart. All right, well, Trinidad and Tobago, a box cart is, it's a cart that's on four, we call it bearings. You know, it's really the bearings that you, you get in those gear boxes. Yeah. And we take those, we adjust them on a wooden kind of a crate crate yeah a, a wooden crate four wheels with a rope and we go down a string with one bolt holding that together <laughs> I, I don't know I don't, I don't know how we survived but hey, that, that was fun for us you know yeah, and yeah. we, we grew up um, riding box carts you know walking up and down the road bare feet um, fishing in ponds yeah in the bush being chased by cows and that is actually a true story <laughs> <laughs> Being chased by a cow, man. We chased by a cow because we wanted to ride the, the baby cow. Oh my! And the mother cow was tired, and after a while, we realized that wait, no, the mother cow seems to get a little closer than it was before. <laughs> Only to realize that the rope had burst, and the mother cow was running after us, and people scattered all over the place, and and some guys jumped into the pond, mm-hmm. and the cow went after them into the pond. All right, so tell me about growing up and getting into gospel music. Well, gospel music was always my life. You know, I, I got baptized when I was six after about two, three years of nagging because I thought I was too young. Nagging? Yeah, yeah, it was nagging. I wanted to get baptized. I, I always had that, that urge to, you know, to be water baptized, you know, growing up in a Christian family. Um, mommy always taking us to church every Sunday, doing devotions and that kind of stuff. You know, so I grew up in the church circuit. My aunt is a pastor as well. And uh, seeing people get baptized, I, I always I always had that, you know, thrill inside of me to be baptized. But they thought it was just a childish thrill. And uh, after years of nagging, they said, all right, all right. He seems to know what he's about, you know, and I got baptized at the age of six. And I always loved music. In fact, my father was a DJ, you know. Really? Yeah, DJ Dynamite, you know. I know that name. Yeah, so, you know, my father, <laughs> my father was a DJ. So the musical aspect, I think, would, would have come from him. Right, right. And then after well, growing up in a Christian home, strong Christian background with my mother mm-hmm. and, and, and the rest of my family, you know, the two naturally just merged together at some point and then I realized, hey, music. Christian. So so back in the days, you used to take the, the versions of the, the records and uh, do gospel music on it? Well, the versions of the record, I used to take them and use them as Frisbee. <laughs> And get licks afterwards <laughs> for using them as frisbee. <laughs> oh my! Because you know, as a youngster, we don't value these kind of stuff. Yeah, you know? true, true. Growing up, seeing box of vanilla and that kind yeah. of stuff, and for frisbee, us, frisbee, frisbee. <laughs> and it, they flew so well. I tell you, there's nothing better than a, a vanilla record in terms of flight. <laughs> you know, so naturally, the, the marriage came together, and they started doing music from a, a young age as well. And, and I, I really started off in school, you know. Started off in the school days of you know behind the toilet. I don't know why we like behind, behind the, toilet. the toilet. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't understand what is the thrill now of behind the toilet. You know, but beating the tank and that kind of stuff and men freestyling. Yeah, and that's how we started off. In fact, I was a poet. You know, you know, even I started off writing poems, and then one day I just said, you know, hey, if I put a beat to this poem, it actually sounded like a song. Oh my! And, and then from there, you know, beating be, beating the tank behind the toilet and singing, and the rest of the school coming and listening to hear what we're chanting about, which teacher we're going to talk about, you know, <laughs> eventually matured into doing the kind of music that I'm doing now. Nice. So let's take a listen to one of your old tracks, and uh, we touch the mics once it's more. Old, I get frightened. Right? It's not that oh old. Goodness. It's a few years ago. Oh my <laughs> 
Wow. It's all about the reality. Check. DJ Mickey. And of course, you're listening to Isaac 98.1 FM, The Promise. As we hit the flashback, you should see James' face when I drop this one. <laughs> James Saunders featuring Keith Regis. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about this song, man. Well, this song is like so old, I'm, I'm, I'm totally shocked that you still have this song. I didn't even have this song, you know. This song started off, in fact, as a, a freestyle, you know. Okay. You know, which which basically how most of my collaborations came together. Mm-hmm. You know, we got the rhythm, Jazz Event. You know, blessings to him. And uh, my cousin was just singing. And we were just, you know, meditating. Also, he's your cousin. He's my cousin as well, yeah. All right, all right. We're just singing and, you know, it was just a meditation. And, you know, a vibe as, as young people say, you know, just meditating on the rhythm. And, and, and this came out. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. Now you 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 r- rode the cows. Was chased by a cow. Chased by the cows. No, we didn't get to ride the cows, you know. Oh, you didn't get to ride. No. You no. rode the box cart. Box cart. Yeah. Uh, you 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 sang and freestyle and chanted behind mm-hmm. the toilets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Until it eventually developed into being on CDs. Yes. Tell me about your journey into the sport arena. Well, that is a very interesting journey, you know, because anybody who knew me from my childhood. You know, knew that one. I liked sports. I played professional football. But even before that, going to school. Now you're saying professional. Professional means what? Uh, for the village, or for a club, <laughs> or or for for your home? I, play, or... I, I played professional football <laughs> in the in the Trinidad and Tobago Professional Football League in Trinidad. I played with the number of clubs. I played with you know. So you were almost a warrior. Almost a warrior. You know? <laughs> in, in fact, in fact, actually, um. Got dropped at the very last. I got dropped yes at the very last <laughs> stage of time to go Guatemala. You know, okay. They were, they were picking the team and I was in the training squad and you know got down to the, the very end and you know, yeah. But okay. I guess you know, God had a different plan for me. Uh-huh. You know, that's what I used to comfort myself. You know, these days. But apart from that, you know, um, I I was the type of kid that I love to talk about stuff. You know, so I love sports and I love to talk about it. And while we were playing football, I would be commentating. We'd be playing cricket in the backyard. Mm-hmm. And I would be commentating the game while playing and annoying everybody else. Annoying everyone? Annoying everybody <laughs> else. You know, even um, FIFA, uh, we started off playing video game. Yeah. And we would load on the commentary. And in fact, the same guy, Kurt Ridge, you heard on the track before. Yeah. We'd load on the commentary. And, as the and, game and start, do your own commentaries. And do our own commentary. We'd be in church. <laughs> <laughs> and, and talking about games, you know, and men will be switching to you, and you know, you'll be switching into different characters and imitating different commentators that you'd like, you know, and that's how I started off developing that. And uh, it started so strangely that how I eventually got into it, I went to the newspaper office, you know, and I just walked in and said, hey, this is what I want to do. Really? And of course, the lady looked at me like, you know, who's this crazy who's young this boy? mad dude? Uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> from Maruga, you know, just walked in here and then after... She said, well, you know what, son, I admire bravery. And uh, she said, right, but uh, do a script for me, you know, and come back with it. Mm-hmm. Probably expecting me not to return. The very next day, I came back, you know, all excited again. And I said, hey. And she read it. She was like, you know, not too bad, you know. You know, you made some errors here and there. And she took me in as an intern. And then mm-hmm. from there, the rest, as they say, is history. It's history. Yeah. All right. So we're going to take a listen to another one of your tracks. You remember this one? Well, oh, that's right. This one is off my upcoming EP. Ah, we're going to get to that soon. All right. So taking some more music from Mr. James Saunders, it's Isaac, The Promise. DJ Mickey. James Saunders is live and alive in the studio. And of course, he's giving us a brief history of uh, how he became who he is now. Yeah? <laughs> All right, so you mentioned an EP. Well, that, that is right. You know, everybody says, you know, James, you, you have so many singles, you know, like a million singles out. True. And um, when is something... You have so many singles, you don't have them all. I don't even have them all. <laughs> you know, I can't even remember. Sometimes I would go somewhere, I would hear somebody play something, and, and I'd be like, this song's... Some... And then I'd like, my shocks, this is my song. <laughs> <laughs> you know, where did you get this from? <laughs> you know, but uh, finally, you know, I'm putting together an EP, you mm-hmm. know, so that people don't have something tangible. You know, so when they're chopping in their cars, they don't have to burn it, you know, just say, okay, I've, I've got a James Saunders EP. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. And it's self-titled Generation Soldiers as well, because I believe that I am a Generation Soldier, and I'm trying to, to go about and, and recruit more Generation Soldiers. What is a Generation Soldier? A Generation Soldier is just somebody from this generation that is willing to impact a generation 
And you know, because the Bible said that we are salt and light. And what does salt and light do? It impacts the environment. You know, light, when light comes into a place, there's an impact. When salt comes into your food, DJ Mickey, true, true. there is an impact. There's flavor, you know, so... It's all about impacting the generation that we live in, not waiting for somebody else to come and impact it and then for us to follow. No, we impacting in whatever sphere that we're in, in radio, in on the street, mm-hmm. you know, in, in a community like Maruga. Yeah. Being a generation. Speaking so, about Maruga, when was the last time you, you visited? China put me on spot, eh? When was the last time you <laughs> tasted mommy's cooking, James? Embarrassingly for Mother's Day. You tasted your mother's cooking Embarrassingly that, For that's Mother's a, Day That's why I said embarrassingly And put that in front of it James, did you even buy a cake for mom? Yeah, yeah mommy eats a little ice cream and No, she... no, no Did you buy a cake Or should I say Bake a cake for mom? I didn't bake a cake this year <laughs> You know, but um, <laughs> You know, being the accomplished cake baker that I am Okay, okay sure. yeah, I, I can bake a cake, you know mm-hmm. You know, you know, she will taste it Or oh, she will be blessed with a cake sometimes during the you know the course of the year <laughs> you know sometime alright so this album that, that you're working on how soon is it gonna drop I haven't set a release date in fact I'm in studio now I've, I've gotten like about three or four songs already recorded for it Yeah. well Generation Soldiers as well that's gonna be on it and um, there's something that I'm focusing on this week here and then following that mm-hmm. following which mm-hmm. you know I'm gonna resume recording so I would say before summertime you know before summer now, time we'll be you know in Trinidad and Tobago we have no summer well, there's August holidays there's dry season there's wet uh, rainy season before wet season like, I, <laughs> I think you're gonna you're, you're gonna get that you know <laughs> you know I'm still, I'm still I'm still gauging the timing in terms of it you know it, it's not a problem with the tracks the tracks are already there most of them already recorded nice it's just a matter of you know and timing. how many tracks are we gonna get on that EP I'm thinking about 10. 10, okay. Yeah, I have more, but you know, I'm, yeah. I'm going to keep it uh, around 10. You know, mm-hmm. it, it is an EP, EP after all. And w- what's the average cost? Or you don't have that as yet? I don't really have that as yet, but I'm, I'm, I, I want to make it affordable. You know, in fact, almost give away a bowl, which is not a really a word, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost going to give it away because... You know, I, I really want to get it out there. I, wanna, I really want to push it in the schools, yeah. in, in, the, in the communities, in the so-called ghettos. Because it's good music. It's good music. Yeah. You know, and it, it's music that, you know, is life-changing in the sense of the message. And it changes and impacts a generation. This My goodness. generation. My goodness. I'm going to so use you as something <laughs> in that album. <laughs> now, other than being into music... You also want to venture into video production. Well, well that is correct. Mm-hmm. Uh, in fact, I, I have my, you know, ad- advertising agency. Very small, you do? Sc- very small scale at okay. any point okay. in time, you know. So yeah, this nice. little Maruga boy riding a box cart mm-hmm. is now into video production and has a small advertising agency. And eventually, what I want to do, you know, is um, launch my production house. Where I produce items. When you look at Oprah, you yeah. know, Oprah does her own production for everything. Yeah. And, you know, I've been around the industry so long, I've developed a, a set. I'm sorry, I demand from Taken now. <laughs> I've developed a particular set of skills. <laughs> that I, that don't, I don't take me out now. <laughs> yeah, that, I, that, I, that I plant in back my generation with as well, you know, because mm-hmm. this is something I'm, I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about creating stuff and creating stuff that are. Stuff that is different, yeah, and not just you know run of the mill and plain, you know. So that that is the aim of my advertising agency slash production house. So if you're looking out there, you're wondering that hey, I'm looking to to get into television and you don't know how, you, know, mm-hmm. you can ring me up, check me out on Twitter at James Saunders TV. You know, we can sit down, we can discuss how to take your business with them. Something like advertising now, you know, in terms of, you know, the marketability yeah. and the visual appeal, as well as even take your career in terms of, you know, creating your own show. Now, you, know? you did share with me a couple, well, a few weeks ago of some of your plans and your desires and the, the, the direction that you want certain things to go. I'm, I'm not going to speak it on the air. I'm going to allow your future clients to uh, call in and you, you're going to guide them accordingly. Yeah, well, yeah, well that's right. <laughs> that's now, other than that, I think you're doing some promotions as well over the weekend. What's well, happening? Well, well, that's right. You know, um, my mother called me up this week and she said, eh, I heard you are a prom- big time promoter these days. <laughs> 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 but, but basically, um, I, I, I'm also into promotions as well in terms of creating events as well o- other than video events. Okay. You know, um, really creating more outlets for young Christian people. Now, you mentioned an, a, an outreach uh, plan that you have. Share with me a bit about that. All right. My, my passion right now, as I said, is to impact my generation, to go wherever there's a need 
and avoid to fill. Now, you know what? Before we go, I, I, I've always had this curious question. You have a particular photo on Facebook. My goodness. With you and Bungie Garland. And apparently, you, you, you burned him out at freestyle or something? Well, let me tell you how that started, eh? <laughs> Bungie Garland's a good friend of mine, you know, of, 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 the, of the books. Yeah. And it, it all started in a football game, you know. We played a football game and, and Faye and Lyons, who's his wife, mm-hmm. played in that game. Okay. And Fayan scored a goal on me. <laughs> so Fayan scored the goal on me. And that was her world. Right? She was talking all over the place. But that's shameful, James. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and we met at a corporate event. And Bungie was there. And he was singing. And he started to freestyle. Mm-hmm. And he started to freestyle in front of everybody and tell them that how Fayan <laughs> scored a goal on me. He never knew the country boy from Morocco could freestyle as well. So I said, Bungie, give me the mic. I took the mic. And I told him what I, what I said. You know, I, I told him that... um. I said, yes, you, you said that you, your wife scored me, but you didn't tell everybody that your wife better than he. And <laughs> we have the highlights on CTV, and it was a whole thing, and we started off a whole freestyle battle about that, you know, that incident that started in a football game. <laughs> and, you know, some people thought I may have won, you know, but at least for the first wrong, or wrong and a half. Oh, so, so, so you battled Bungie Garland, Uncle Bungie. Listen, uh, one, uh, one thing I've always learned, you know, from school is I was a small fella. You don't start fights that you can't finish. You start <laughs> till you run. <laughs> I started with him and I ran it. Well, you, you <laughs> mentioned freestyle, so I'm going to give you this rhythm. My goodness. I want you to freestyle about 98.1 FM. What yeah. rhythm? James Saunders, DJ Mickey, 98.1. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some call me the Waka Waka King. Your name is DJ Mickey DJing. 7 o'clock, say I give the news while you on the studio music playing. 98.1 is my crew. Yeah, they're my best station too. And if you ask my opinion, there's no station that better than you. Hey, pull up! <laughs> man from on the spot, you know. <laughs> one spot again. <laughs> one spot again. Well, well, I always do that. <laughs> You've got to look forward to that, man, James. You can't come in the studios of 98.1, <laughs> sit with DJ Mickey, and not expect me to put you on a spot to freestyle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, it's not thinkable. Well, Bungie, Bungie tried it last time, you know. And it, it didn't turn out so well for me. The first wrong, at least. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You did get I, a few laughs out of it. All right, well, James, well, thank you for hooking up with us and continue to keep us in the loop, all right? Yeah, man. You're locked on to Isaac 98.1 FM, James Saunders. DJ Mickey.